Greetings and salutations, everybody. Lord X here, coming at you for the first time in a very long time. It's great to be recording a video again. And I wanted to get a pickups video done because I haven't done one now in ages. And there's so many games that I've picked up, movies, a few collectibles here and there, not as many as I used to. I'm I'm not bad anymore at grabbing collectibles. Ignore the two things behind me, but we'll get to those in a second. Anyways, yeah, it's been a while. I hope you guys are great. My mic is absolutely filthy. Uh, <laughs> and my, my, my light may go at any second, so that'll be interesting if that does. Anyways, let's go over the stuff that I've picked up, and uh, let's start with those digital games that I've picked up. And I'm only going to go back to January. Uh, this is a very quick list to go through anyway. In January, I picked up Oxenfree on PlayStation 4. Fantastic game. Got the Platinum Trophy into it. Enjoyed it quite a lot. Move this over to this side of my screen. Uh, I picked up the Banner Saga 2 on PS4. Cat Quest on PlayStation 4. Again, a fun action uh, RPG. Got the Platinum Trophy into it. Had to. Uh, I think that was my 60th Platinum Trophy, that one. Uh, next up, Burly Men at Sea for the PlayStation Vita slash PlayStation 4. I played it on the PlayStation 4. A little fun, choose-your-own-adventure type game. Uh, was great. Another easy Platinum Trophy right there. Next up, Thimbleweed Park. Oh my god, this game was fantastic. I absolutely love this game. Uh... It's the style of, like, Maniac Mansion from back in the day, or uh, a Monkey Island, those types of games, you know? Really fun puzzle game. Got the Platinum Trophy into it. The developers, or anyway, their official Twitter account for the game, congratulated me on doing that and thanked me for playing. That's cool. I always love it when, you know, devs do that. And I never even tagged them or anything. It just They just saw the tweet and... Just said thank you. So that was really cool. Really enjoyed that. Uh, really thinking about picking up the physical Switch version when Limited Run Games puts that up. Depending on what money I have on me at the time that goes up. Uh, Jazz Punk Director's Cut on PlayStation 4. Thimbleweed Park was PlayStation 4 too, if it wasn't obvious. Uh, Jazz Punk, haven't started that yet. Really want to. Heard nothing but good things. And finally, the last digital game I picked up in January was Celeste. Bought that on the Nintendo Switch. And oh my god, is that game ever fantastic. Um, it's just a really charming, sweet platformer that talks a very, about a very rough topic in a very creative great way it's it's really good really fun uh some of the levels you'll curse on it like super meat boy but that just made it all the more fun because it's like that and you're once you're dead you're right back at the beginning again there's no slowdown it encourages you to keep playing just an absolutely fantastic game and easily right now my favorite game of 2018 moving on to february uh, only one digital game in February, and that was Golf Story on the Nintendo Switch. Finally picked that up because it went on sale and loved it. Absolutely dug it. Great game. Highly recommend it if you own a Switch. Uh, and I did get two physical games in that month, and I do have them right here, so we're going to pull those up right now. Uh, the first of which is Radiant Historia. I uh, thought this game would... I've started it up. Haven't gotten really far in it yet because I haven't had the time or I've been distracted by a couple of other things which I will be talking about in a second, but it's in my 3DS now. I will slowly chip away at this bad boy over time. I have heard nothing but great things about this game. And I did get the Day 1 edition which came with uh, a few little trinkets. Uh, art book, I believe. The soundtrack or part of the music sample. I got that put away anyway, so I'm not digging that. Yeah, it was an art book, I know that. I think music CD. 
But yeah, really cool. Really glad to finally have this. And I had to support my favorite witch, Bayonetta 2 slash 1. See, includes Bayonetta 1. Uh, for the Nintendo Switch, and I've played through Bayonetta 1 all the way through now. Something I never did on the PlayStation 3. I got close, but I never really finished it. But finally finished it on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, fucking love that game. And to play it on like the Nintendo Switch Portable, because that's how I play my Switch, on docked. Or, yeah, on docked all the time. That was really cool. I've got Bayonetta 2 in there now, and that's going to be tackled in the very near future. Uh, because I don't think I'm picking up anything on the Switch for a while now. Because coming up next, I've got Yakuza and God of War. Probably won't pick up anything on the Switch now, honestly, until Project Octopath Traveler in July. So, yeah. Bayonetta 2 in the Switch for now. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back and finally play through Xenoblade Chronicles 2, see if I can get hooked this time while trying it. And that's after I spend like 100 hours in an upcoming game and 100 hours in like Yakuza 6, because I know that's going to happen. Alright, so moving on into merch. Uh, only one physical game for merch, so going through the digital stuff that I picked up. A normal lost phone on the Nintendo Switch. Played through that. Loved it. That was really cool. Star Ocean 4, The Last Hope for PlayStation 4. That went on sale for like 20 bucks. So I grabbed that and haven't started it yet, but will be doing so in the very near future. As Divine Arts Hurts for PlayStation 4, 3, and Vita. Uh, this is an RPG maker RPG. Haven't started it up yet, but it always caught my eye. And it was on sale, so I figured... You know what? Why the hell not? I'm going to pick this game up and play through it. It has a talking cat playable character in this game. That's enough for this guy, okay? Enough said. Uh, energy cycle on the PlayStation 4. It was cheap. It was an easy platinum trophy. Seriously, got the platinum in like 30 minutes. It's my fastest platinum trophy right now. This game was just so simple. And yeah, I used the guide to get through it really fast too. After... I think level 10 or so I got up to, and I'm like, eh, screw this, I'm just going to get a platinum trophy. And there's an exploit into it, which makes a few of the trophies really easy to get. It's like, wow, this just handed me a platinum trophy for like a dollar fifty that I paid for the game. Uh, next up, everybody's golf for the PlayStation 4, and I've been playing this. Now, I'm not a big sports game fan. I'll play hockey here and there. I'm not right now because fuck EA. Fuck EA for the entire year. Not buying any of their shit. Um, that's what happens when they close their visceral and canceled Amy Henning's Star Wars game, okay? Enough's enough for this for this guy. Uh, but Hot Shots Golf has always had a special place in my heart. I love the series on PlayStation 1. I think I played 1 and 2 like so much, so ungodly much. It was just awesome. Uh, played a bit on PlayStation 2, I think. And PlayStation 3, just dabbled a little bit. I think I had one of the PSP games, too, in the Vita. But never really got into them that much. But I picked up Everybody's Golf because it was on sale for 20 bucks, And I got a 20% off code through, like, they were doing a NB or MLB The Show live stream over, like, the past weekend and completing one of the challenges on there when you log into your account gave you a 20% off coupon so I used that and I got the game for like 16 bucks that's that's a damn great deal quite much bad just thinking it through um, welcome back to YouTube Lord X trim your mustache okay uh, <laughs> anyways loving this game so far it's great just listening to like podcasts and going through tournaments and completing the single player stuff. I'm loving it. The mechanics are as fantastic as they've always been. So yeah, I'm going to be playing more and more of this game. Love it. And the final game that I picked up for March, or as of March right now anyway, I probably won't be picking up anything else for this month. But 
I got Ni no Kunai 2 Revenant Kingdom, and this is the premium edition of the game. You can see on the back, this came with a music CD. It has come with the paper craft model thing, which I haven't put together yet. And the creme de la creme, and why I really picked this edition up, the steelbook case, which is really really nice. I absolutely adore this. And as you can see, I've got the game in there right now. So, <laughs> so yeah, there's that's the uh, games that I've picked up for uh, beginning of this year, anyway. Now, I've got some other stuff here that I'm going to go over. I've got one movie to talk about. Thor Ragnarok. This thing is absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Uh, it's got the same kind of vibes as Guardians of the Galaxy, really. They hit the nail on the head with Thor in this one, and the Hulk. It's great seeing him back and getting a semi-planet planet Hulk storyline here for the very first time. That's really cool. The villain, Hela, is fantastic and up there is one of the best villains in the MCU, in my opinion. Hopefully we see more of her again. Yeah, it's the same on the inside. Uh, but yeah, love this movie. Really go and check it out if you can, if you want. Highly recommend it. And yeah, cool. Celebrate more of the MCU. Get ready for Avengers Infinity War, guys. Oh my god, that trailer. Fantastic. Now, as far as collectibles go, I have two and they've been sitting right behind me here. Now, Gwen, this was a Christmas gift. Really, got some money from my parents for Christmas and decided to pick this gal up because there was a sale going on as well at the time. So I got a bit off. Uh, I think it was like 15% off or so. So there you go. There is Gwenpool. Really nice design. So there you go. And this guy, when I went out to see Black Panther, stand up in line to get food in the theater. And I'm like, see the pops over there? I see a sticker on one of them. And I'm like, is that like a Cineplex exclusive pop vinyl? I've never heard tell of them doing any. I focus on that sticker and my friend was actually talking to me right next to me. And he sees me zoning in and he's like, what are you looking at? And I step forward and I grab the pop. And I bring it back and I'm like, that's a limited chase edition of Black Panther just sitting there. I had to grab it. So yeah, while in line to see Black Panther, I managed to find my first ever chase, Pop Funko. And I don't buy these like I used to. I used to go insane for them. You guys know it. Just look back at my previous uh, pickup videos. I've got way too many of these things. and They're sitting in a box over in the corner of my apartment. Box, boxes of them, actually. So yeah, it was really cool to find this Chase figure. Uh, I dig it. Um, I, like, I, I think I have one Black Panther pop, the Civil War one. Well, hell, another one does it, because hell yeah, this movie was fantastic, and it was like, yeah, I, I'm happy to pick up a Black Panther pop. So that was the pop figures that I've gotten. I do have one special thing here that I want to go over today, because, uh, couple of these I've actually bought before the new year. I bought these at the end of last year. Uh, but I wanted to go over them. I wanted to talk about them a little bit. One of these I have picked up at the end. And this is something I've not done on a pickups video before. I got some board games. Um, card, well, card games, technically. There's no boards involved. They're all card related. But uh, I've got Boss Monster, the dungeon building card game. Have not played this one yet. But I really dig pixel art, so I picked it up. Um, me and a bunch of my friends that do play board games, we basically all have this one I figured out. So hopefully be playing this one in the very near future. But yeah, really dug it. Had to pick this up as soon as I saw the design of the cards. Next up, I love Bloodborne. So getting the Bloodborne card game was absolutely necessary after I've gotten into a group of friends who play board games now and card games. So, pick this up. 
have played it once uh, with a couple of friends of mine, and it's great. It's absolutely fantastic and fun. It, a little bit of a learning curve to begin with. The first game that we played, we got utter, utterly destroyed by the boss. Uh, we never even made it to the boss, actually. We got destroyed by one of the mini-bosses leading up to the boss. Second time around, we actually did successfully go through the challenge dungeon, defeated the boss, and we had a vic victor in our group. So, yeah, that's cool. Victor, you know, winner, whatever you want to call him. So, yeah, that was really cool. And last but not least, actually, yeah, kind of least, I got Cards Against Humanity. Played it once. <laughs> it's... This game was made for me. I love how depraved and just so wrong things can come out. It, it was worth for a really, really great laugh. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have Cards Against Humanity. Alright, now that we're done going through all that, this is where I would normally wrap things up. But I haven't done a pickups video in so long, I wanted to do something special for you guys. So... My comic book shop, which I went to today, has a 27% off sale going on. Wow. So, I picked up a few blind boxes. We're going to unbox them. We haven't done this in a very long time, and I'm excited to do this. And I've got a little bit of a variety here. Okay, so we got ourselves some Marvel. We got ourselves a little DC. And we got ourselves some Dragon Ball Z. So there you go. We're going to go through these. Let's kick things off with Marvel. Let's do the pin first. And of course, these are all the characters on the back that are possible to get. Of course, I'm always rooting for like Venom or Rocket Raccoon. or uh, uh, Honestly, I'm happy with anybody out of this. Captain Marvel would be amazing. And we got ourselves... It's Medusa of the Inhumans. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, probably the least one that I would want from this uh, entire group. Captain Marvel would have been absolutely fantastic and the best, but hey, that's cool. Might have to get another one of those the next time I go up there. They were like five bucks, so. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. I've been meaning to start watching Super, because people talk non-stop about it. And we got ourselves... Oh, I got a bit of a simile required here. I got myself a Frieza. Oh. Let's, uh, let's just pop him out. I'll do the assembly after with the base in his tail. But there you go. There's Frieza. Okay. All right, Frieza, you can uh, you can sit right up there for now. Let's uh, well, we started with Marvel. Let's end with Marvel. So let's uh, pop open this DC Bombshells one. This is series number two. I've got two of these. I've got a special Wonder Woman edition one which I haven't opened, and I've got Poison Ivy from series one. But there's all the characters we can possibly get from this one. If I had the hope. Super Girl will be great. Harley Quinn's always awesome. Killer Frost will be quite cool. Let's see who we get here. Oh! <laughs> Asking you shall receive, Lord X. It's Killer Frost. Well, like I said, that's cool. So you can go right there for now. You're drunk, apparently. Alright. And finally, let's pop open. This marble one, this Spider-Man plushie, if I can figure out how to open this box. Of course, these are all the possible characters on the back here. We got Spider-Man, we got the Green Goblin, we got Spider-Man Unmasked, we've got Gwenpool, we got Venom, we got the Miles Morales Spider-Man, we got Peter Parker, and we got uh, Anti-Venom. Anti-venom would be nice. Pop it open. Of course, they're in a body bag. 
They do feel plushy. Oh, I am happy with this result. We got ourselves a little Venom plushie. Plushy, plushy. Okay, so folks, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for spending 20 minutes or so of your time with me. Thank you for watching. I've been Lord X. Hopefully another episode of the X Zone very soon in the very near future. I've wanted to do a WrestleMania themed show of some regards of hyping that up or predictions or what I hope to see. So hopefully that will come very soon. Anyways, I've been Lord X. You have been awesome, and I will catch you next time.